This is Cabo Verde. another video as promised in my uh, Dublin vlogs I promised I was heading off to an island off the west coast of Africa and here I am uh, today I am in Cape Verde or Cabo Verde to the locals it's very very windy hope you can hear me if you can't I'll do a voiceover never mind but uh, yeah here we are let me tell you a bit about the islands so the islands were found uh, well they weren't found they were created 40 to 50 million years ago and they were found in the 1400s. It was in 1444, it was in 1444 that the Portuguese named Cape Verde Cabo Verde in relation to the westernmost point of Africa, as it was known as the Green Cape. And then in 1456, the islands were found and the Portuguese settled here, and uh, the islands have been inhabited since. Uh, these days, uh, there's not much to uh, export from the islands, so the islands thrive on tourism. So I'm going to give you now the top five things to do here on the island of Sal. Number one, hit the beach. With miles of coastline, both rocky and sandy, you will definitely find a space all to yourself. The beaches are sparse, with the best being situated on the south side of the island, around the town of Santa Maria. The water is stunning like a swimming pool, however, can be choppy, so do take care and pay attention to the flags on the beach. The sand is beautiful, two-tone of yellow and black, which makes for stunning patterns as the waves wash in and out. Number two, shark-infested waters. The island doesn't have much in the way of wildlife, however, Situated on the east of the island, on a rocky shipwrecked beach, is a shark nursery. Not just any sharks, but lemon sharks. Which, as I'm told, are friendly and timid sharks. The sharks are born, then, as babies, make their way into the shallows, swim further and deeper out the bigger they get. In at number three, float in the salt lakes. Hidden away in an extinct volcano are the salt lakes one of Sal's hidden gems. And the only thing that used to be exported from the island, salt, which is why the island's called Sal. There you go. Now not used to mine the salt, tourists can now come and take a dip in the salt water and feel the sensation of just being able to float with no need to tread water. Number four, try kite surfing. Why not? The island of Sal is famous for its kite surfing. In fact, two world champions come from the island. If you fancy trying this, head over to Kite Beach on the east of the island where you can learn. But bear in mind the choppiness of the waters and of course the undercurrents around the island. Bear that in mind and be careful. Number five, visit the town of Santa Maria. Situated on the south coast of the island is this small yet picturesque town of Santa Maria, which hosts stunning beaches, quaint restaurants, bars, nightlife, and the famous pier where locals bring the fresh catch to sell the fish to the locals and the restaurants around the island. If the beach isn't your thing, then you can walk the small streets soaking in this beautiful little town. And finally, some honorable mentions, which I found boring. Island views. Head up to the capital of Espargos, where you can head up to the high point of the town for great views of the island, but even better, if you can time it with a landing at the airport. The blue eye. You can gaze into this natural cave and if the sun is in the right place at the right time, a beautiful blue circle will be seen in the water of the cave below. Fata Morgana, or the Mirage. On the north of the island, you can spot a mirage of water in the distance, which can only be seen from certain spots and at ground level. Again, didn't really do it for me. The Botanical Gardens. 
This little green oasis is a lovely spot to stop for a while from green manicured lawns to a range of wildlife from all around the world. Well worth a short stop actually. And there we have it, my top five things to do and see on the island of Sal in Cape Verde. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Even if you don't agree, I'm sure you'll agree that it is a must-see island with a little something for everyone, whether you're an adventurer or just want to read a book by the beach. Anyway, that about wraps it up. It's back to me on the beach. That's going to do it for another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.